interest rates are going through the roof. There's a cost of living crisis. Everything is going up. Utilities are going up. Fuel is going up. Food is going up. As a landlord, you may be considering selling your property. Or as a property manager, you may see lots of landlords that are now leaving your services because they are selling their properties. I'm going to be discussing today tips that landlords should consider before they sell their properties in this mortgage crisis. Let's go. Have you advised a landlord to assess the price of their current rental property at the moment? Prices of properties are currently going down in this current market. So they need to ascertain as to how much money they would get for the property if they would decide to sell it because they probably have you know high ideas and ambitions of selling it for thousands and thousands of pounds more than it can actually be sold for so by getting a current market valuation they can assess if the property is worth what they think it's worth either with tenants in it if it's a hmo property or as an empty family property depending on the property they need to decide as to how they would market it to potential buyers the cost of selling, is it even worth selling the property? Because there are lots of costs obviously involved in selling the property, such as paying the estate agent, the person who's part buying the property may want you to do certain repairs to the property before they even consider buying it. They may want the property to be empty before the sale is complete. And if the sale is complete, is if the sale takes a long time to go through, then obviously the landlord has to pay all the utilities. They have to pay all the insurances. And if it's a flat, the ground rent and the service charge and all of that money will come out of their own pocket until the property is actually sold. And also they may be subject to capital gains taxes, all sorts of tax implications now, for landlords that they didn't necessarily have a few years ago because of the new government regulations that have come in place with regards to tax. So uh, advising a landlord, they need to assess if the property is either worth selling. And obviously once they've paid back the mortgage loan, will they actually make any money at all on the property once it's been sold? As a property manager, do you have any landlords that are currently selling their property? Have you had an influx perhaps of new clients because they're actually considering renting their property instead of selling it? I'd be really interested to find out your opinion in the comments below. What is happening with your business at the moment with regards to landlords? Are they really worried about the current mortgage crisis? Or perhaps you're at the high end or the low end of the market. I'd be really interested in hearing your thoughts on this. Landlord, it's important to assess your current mortgage payments and obviously your current mortgage provider. Now, obviously, if you're paying a large amount of money, um, obviously, because interests have gone up at the moment, then you may be affected. But is your property a variable mortgage or is it a fixed mortgage? If it's variable, then change it to fixed because then you can have the exact same amount of money coming out of your account for a period of time. Is your, pop is your mortgage a two-year or a five-year mortgage? If it's on a low two-year mortgage then I would suggest changing it as long as you get a very a good favorable rate to change it to a five-year mortgage so the ideal mortgage at this current time so long as you get a really good mortgage rate would be a fixed five-year mortgage because then regardless of all these interest rates constantly rising for five years you will not be affected you'll be paying the same amount every single time and also what most landlords are doing is paying an interest only mortgage so if you were paying repayment then perhaps switch to an interest only mortgage then that may be some wiggle room for you to be able to consider keeping the property and not selling the property so just consider your current mortgage now depending on how much money you have in the property in terms of um, valuation of the property once you do once you do have the property valued is it possible that you could potentially take some money out of the property to potentially cover any of your current expenses perhaps you could you know upgrade the property or pay off any debts that you have Obviously, by selling the property, there's a reason that you're deciding to sell. But is it possible that there could be some equity in the property for you to take some money out? Yes, that will obviously have um, an, an effect on the amount of money you're paying back in the long term. But if you perhaps extend your mortgage from maybe 20 years to 30 years, obviously extending the mortgage is, is annoying, but it also means that reduces the amount of money you're paying back, especially if you put it on a fixed to five year 
uh, mortgage therefore it's, it comes down even more so perhaps you could consider taking money out of the property if you have equity therefore you wouldn't have to sell the property and that would be extremely helpful for you financially if the costs of keeping the property is so high that the rent does not cover the mortgage and it does not cover the ground rent or the service charge or even the maintenance costs then it definitely is worth selling the property if you're finding that personally you're having to cover all of the expenses as opposed to your tenant covering all the expenses and obviously if the tax is so high that you're still coming short then perhaps it is definitely a time to consider selling this property and maybe using the money if there's any equity to perhaps buy another property elsewhere if this property and in terms of the numbers if it just does not stack up for the landlord that maybe can time to consider selling this property do hope you're getting lots of value from today's video in case you're not aware i am tanya day i'm a property virtual assistant i work with property managers estate agents mortgage brokers all sorts of property professionals in the property industry i work behind the scenes in their administration area customer service area updating all sorts of things on their behalf so they can concentrate on money generating tasks and um, spending time with their family and obviously participate participating in hobbies so they can use up all sorts of time to do whatever they feel like is more valuable with their time. I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to the video and give this video a thumbs up because the more people that like this video and subscribe to this channel will then the video will get shared with more people on YouTube which is ultimately the aim of my channel. If for example you are as a landlord considering selling the property have you thought about how much the property could increase over time depending on the type of property you bought if it's a new build sometimes they have inflated prices when you first buy it so you may be negative negative equity now but in maybe five six seven years time there's a potential that your property could go back up in value if not what it was you bought it or maybe even a little bit more if you've bought a period property then there's a possibility that right now your property may not be worth as much as you think but what normally happens is probably 10 years from now your property could be worth a lot more than it is right now and therefore the market may be a lot more stable in 10 years time therefore you may have more equity in the property than you think if you then decide that it's still something it's still a property that you want to sell then in 10 years time you could get more money then than you'll get now and obviously with things like inflation and taxes and all sorts of things you could be better off selling it at, per at a later period of time and maybe keeping hold of the property and just in effect suffering it out now for greater dividends later on and again if you have thought about selling your property perhaps you want to consider various ways of increasing the rent that is coming into your property if it's rent that's a major issue because the rent does not cover your expenses obviously expenses like the mortgage and the insurance and the ground rent service charge and and all the other maintenance issues perhaps you want to consider maybe turning a single let property into hmo property by hmo property i mean a house of multiple occupation perhaps you've got like a three bedroom house so therefore you could rent out all three three bedrooms to three individuals as well as perhaps a front room and then you can just give them the kitchen and maybe the lounge area to share or perhaps you could even rent out the lounge and the front room area or the dining room area and then you can get some more money in perhaps you can even consider going into the loft um, as well or into the basement area and creating additional spaces in the property at the areas that you could rent out but obviously you would need to comply with your current local council's um, HMO guidelines another option which quite a lot of people are doing nowadays is turning their property into serviced accommodation now most people um, rent out their property through platforms like booking.com or Airbnb these are fantastic platforms that you could potentially rent out a room so you could rent out if you've you know if you if you're a person who's living in the property and you're thinking you needed to make some more money then you could rent out a room in your property but if you're a seasoned landlord and you're looking to sell your whole rental property then consider having a hmo or turning your property into serviced accommodation now serviced accommodation there's so much different types of of service accommodation you can have and there's obviously lots of different um places where you can obviously give your property to there's also um guaranteed rent as well if you haven't thought about um receiving guaranteed 
guaranteed rent that is when you give your property to a specific company they will take your property for a period of time maybe three years five years and they'll pay you a specific amount of money over a, over that period of, of time now regardless of if they get your property rented or not they're guaranteeing you paying this amount of money also what quite a lot of landlords do not want is social housing tenants but ultimately social housing tenants are people who are um, looking for housing they're wanting to to live in in a property with their family and the council will pay you to house the family in your property now the good thing about this on behalf of the landlord is that the money will be paid to you consistently over a period of time so long as they are still as long as the tenant is still worthy of getting um, universal credit or finances from the local council, you as a landlord will receive the money for having this specific tenant. And another thing as well is when you have a tenant that um, accepts, if sorry, if you have a property that accepts pets, this would actually be a fantastic thing for you as a landlord. Yes, there are specific circumstances which you have to consider, like you know maybe getting specific insurance or making sure your tenants have insurance. But ultimately, if you're looking to increase your rent, then these are specific options that you can consider in order to get more money for your property. Appreciate it if you subscribe to today's video if you have not already done so, and also give the video a lot a thumbs up in order that this video can be shared. With with more people because being in the mortgage crisis right now and cost of living crisis right now is very difficult for so many people not just landlords but people who are homeowners and renters and all sorts of people so hopefully this video will get round to more people based in the UK so we can help them video specifically about renting to tenants with pets as well as helping people um, with your goals and objectives in Q4